What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we're going to be playing around with Bruiser, who's getting boosted from this week's faction booster. Headhunter, as we know, leveling up the Magic Council units. Bruiser recently got updated, changed, buffed, talents added, all that good stuff in update 20, then update 20. 20.1, 20.2, I don't even know. So we're going to be trying it out today. Our low-level bruiser taking on some pretty good opponents, seeing how we fare. And I'll tell you right now, bruiser is pretty freaking strong. So guys, grab your coffee, grab your device, and let's head on down to Game by the Beach. <laughs> Welcome back once again, fellas. We're going to be jumping right into a game today, Showcasing Bruiser. So, I think Bruiser is a really, really cool card nowadays, right? It just got talents. It's got a lot of different unique capabilities. Mine's only at a level 9, so that's not too, too strong. So, I don't typically have that much of an advantage whenever I'm playing on the ladder. However, this week, it is getting boosted. Let me turn the sound down a little bit. I feel like I... It's a normal thing to say every video now. Um, it is being boosted this week. So Headhunter is boosting Magic Council units, which, of course, Bruiser is one of those. So every time we kill a boss, we're getting Bruiser leveled up. Uh, three different Bruisers are getting leveled up. Okay. We also have Sword in this deck, so Sword also could be getting leveled up, but that's okay. I wanted to show this off a little bit and just see how Bruiser hangs on the ladder because I know we, he's really, really strong later on in the game i'm at like i honestly I, I genuinely don't even have any clue what trophies i'm at i would guess 5600 maybe but 7000 8000 trophies right people are really pushing bruiser and he did just get reworked after he got talent so we just wanted to test him out so we're going to be rocking with the right side talents furious brotherhood which what's what's the analogy of how to of how to do this it's um it doesn't matter where you're merging them. You just have to merge bruisers and you'll get stacks. It's uh, looks like witch. Is that what it is? It's like witch, right? You merge a witch, you get a stack, but then the witch being next to it, that doesn't matter with bruiser. It has nothing to do with like where you're merging. It's just what you're merging. So firstly, I was much more focused on swords, which I don't necessarily think is the best method. Okay, I think you do want to really focus on those clovers. It's three that gets boosted every time that you do a merge on Bruiser. So you can see we're already three out of four, three, ways, three fourths of the way to a clover. So if I just copied a couple of these um, Bruisers, we would have gotten all the way there. But we've also gotten pretty far on our sword stacks already. So you do want to have that balance. You want to have sword stacks, you want to have clover stacks, you want to have this, you want to have that. I'm running J once again, and honestly, I've been running J in almost every single one of my decks. And the reason for that is because you get that extra buff tile. So we've got only one bruiser right now. Now two bruisers on buff J tiles. Extra attack speed, extra crit, I think now. And the the uh, the J active ability also triggers through that bruiser that are that are on the the tiles. And when you actually hit the button for J, it does a massive amount of damage. It helps you take out bosses really, really well. To where a lot of these decks that are that struggle, typically struggle with bosses over struggling with waves. And Bruiser is uh, follows that same pattern. Okay, so we now let's see. We still haven't gotten a full Clover, but we should be getting there very, very soon. We're still focusing on our sword stacks. We now have two ascended sword stacks. We've got a couple of. Uh, <laughs> of bruisers there that we can merge out we're gonna level them up a couple times we're gonna hit our j you can see how fast we work back towards our portal is pretty insane and we can talk a little bit about it. i'm not trying to hide it we can talk a little bit about our opponent here because clearly he's a little bit under leveled he's rocking vampire which i haven't seen vampire in literal years unless we are uh playing drought that's like the only time i see him or play with him uh, you can see, so now we finally got a sword stack. So that top right, can I point to it? I think I can, right? This guy, ooh, this guy has one stack full clover. You can't really tell. 
Is there a way to tell that he already got that full stack? I don't know if there is or not, but that's the one. That's the one, okay? Uh, now that rank two down here also, I can't point all the way over there because the green screen doesn't go that far. Um, but he also did, and he's also at a, at a uh, one clover already. And he's at a 10 stack for our sword. So I feel like we're in a pretty solid spot. I like the capabilities of Mime and Harlequin being able to really showcase the sword stacking as well as the bruiser stacking. You just have so many options in this deck, which is super, super fun. And the only thing that's not perfect, I would say, is the fact that A, you don't have any slow. You could probably put slow in here instead of Mime, maybe. Um, but the fact that bruiser is getting leveled up by Headhunter is awesome. Fact that swords getting leveled up also not really helpful. Maybe it could be if we can like rank out and get lucky, and then we have like a random rank four, rank five bruiser. That would be awesome, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We now have two at ten stacks. We have a, a third bruiser in that bottom right corner. That is, um, I gotta get way way better at my weatherman motions. Um, that has a, a full clover as well. That rank two over there is now two out of four on his second. Clover, and I think we could honestly just start ranking out almost all of our swords because I'd say, I mean, the three main bruisers that we had out already are at 10 stacks, so I feel like it would be worthwhile just spamming. But look at us take out Monkey King, look at us take out Monkey King. We've got two rank fives, two rank four bruisers. Headhunter is so so useful. So if you guys were really hesitant to play bruiser because you're under leveled, because you're losing to. Try him out this week, because genuinely, you're, you're going to have the, the best chance you've ever had. I'm not saying you're going to win. I can't make that promise. But you're going to have the best chance at a possible win this week with the booster, rather than another week that you're not getting boosted. A rank 4 got hit right there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but not necessarily the end of the world. We got another 10 stack. I think that guy was already 10 stacked right there. Virus in 25 seconds. Look at Jay work all the way back to the portal just so so worthwhile I, I, same thing that i just said about bruiser if you guys have not played jay give her a try we're at 14 out of 15 cannot wait to get jay to 15 i've been playing jay way more than with gadget and i really don't notice a fall off most of the decks that i play have a maximum of like four units that are getting buffed inquis four four inquises on a board bruiser might go four five six you can utilize those tiles and then we also have the amulet tiles. So we've got the boost from all of those tiles for all the damage units almost in every deck, right? Demon Hunter, your board's going to be a little bit more full. We still have seven tiles to work with. That's half your board. I don't know. I, I, I'm really, really loving, loving uh, Jay right now. And I think you guys should try it out. He got hit with Virus. It's going to be hard to come back from. I don't know if you guys can hear all of everybody's going crazy on the... What are you doing, man? What are you doing? 35 seconds until Tribunal. He's having all sorts of trouble. If you guys are new to this channel, remember, this first game is a replay. Because we did a replay in the first game and we were just talking about the deck really specifically, now we're going to jump into game number two where we play it live. And we're going to get that going right here, right now. Game two, underway. We're going up against another opponent here. I honestly, um, another low-level opponent. I honestly considered quitting out this game to try and give you guys just a higher-level gameplay. Because we're going, this guy doesn't even have any talents on his Demon Hunter. Let's try and make quick work of this guy. Showcase the power of the Bruiser. And really, let's try and queue into another game where, where, we, uh, where we can make some... Make some plays, play against a guy that's just a little bit closer to our account level. The last guy we played was at, I don't know, 16,000 crit. This guy's at 14,000, I think I saw. I mean, we're kind of bricking, so that's kind of funny. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I want to show this deck off in a realistic light. Um, we can try and utilize this, this game to just show you how I play this deck. But... Um, Realistically, it's just not its not going to be fair for him no matter what. I could be playing literally any deck and probably win with this. Unless we can't find any any damage units. We got Dryads, we got Harlequins, we got we got everything except for Bruisers. At least, um, 
It'd be pretty funny, actually. We can just do this. Let's just do that because they're both red. There we go. Um, we could do... Let's just copy all these guys. We could wait until Bedlam switches us around and then just go from there. And we could have just continued to spam reds at our opponent and then uh, and, and gone from there. That could have been funny. Let's just get this guy all the way up. I'm trying to get rid of as many squares on my board as possible because then when I hit the blues, we're going to keep hitting the uh, the right units. There's a, We're already at a... 10, uh, not 10 stack, 3 stack, 8 seconds until, I'm just going to level him up, okay, and we're not going to have any issue whatsoever with Bedlam, so let's take him out right here, you can see, right, even with Tribunal, we can hit our J, and we're never going to get hit by, by Tribunal, it's just such an amazing thing, uh, let's see, I'll go, why not, let's do this and let's do that, and, uh, that's a debuff tile, we'll go there, that guy's already at a four stack. I don't like that this guy's a copy, but it shouldn't really matter. We'll go over here. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, let's see. Still just like an awkward start. He's got a good looking board over there, but it won't be there to stay. We'll do that. Let's start getting some clovers. So all three of those got uh, got benefited by that. There's another one that we can use for a clover, which will be good. Um, I guess we'll just do this. I'm going to come down here. We're going to get rid of... Let's try and get one more uh, bruiser on our board. It's almost like... I'm trying to think of the cards that you play. It's I guess it's like when you're playing Summoner or Dryad or something like that. I try to always have a bruiser on the board so that I can merge out. And get a benefit benefit from everybody. I'm just going to do this for now. And uh, I'm actually going to do this. And this weird play. Absolutely. Did it work out? Absolutely it did. And now we're just going to do that. Get all of the board. All of our. Uh... Look at this board. We've only got three bruisers on our board. They're rank fours and rank fives. We've got Tamer coming up. But remember Headhunter. Three units. It would have leveled up our sword if we had any swords. That wa that's why we merged them out. I'm going to hit my J at the very end of this wave. Just in order to have Tamer be as low as possible. I'll hit it right now. We're not going to have any problem taking out Tamer, obviously. Uh, but all of those guys are going to get leveled up. And we're going to be in a really fantastic spot. Boom! That is just B-E-A beautiful but guys if you are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers we're going to make a special video giveaway something once we hit there so definitely do that if you haven't already and if you guys want to help support the channel go check out those other platforms that i post on we post on tiktok as well as facebook almost every day we do shorts and the links are in the description so go show them some love if you haven't already and if you're going to make any in-game purchases whether it's the hero tavern pass premium pass platinum whatever it is make sure that you guys are going through my games it's on the poll over there and using code beach because it's totally free for you guys to use the code but it helps and enables me to continue making the videos and the content that you guys enjoy so much okay do a little bit of that do a little bit of this we'll go here we'll go here um, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so we can start working on that bruiser too. I don't mind getting another one there. Got a couple of sword ascended swords now. We'll probably get rid of this this guy or whoever at some point. I think we'll probably be pretty good against bosses in this game. I was gonna say uh, we could use our our J on like the end of waves instead. But it doesn't make sense to. It's fine. We'll just take out um, we'll take out the puppeteer right away. This guy's at max. This guy's at six. Absolutely sick. And yeah, okay. Sword stack over there. Oh, we don't have any 10 stack swords right now. So that's actually something we do want to utilize. And I wonder what level this guy's demon hunter is. Because he's actually holding out pretty well. I'm going to go here. I'm also going to go here. I'm going to go here, honestly. Might be a little bit weird play, but might as well. We're just going to do... I'll do this. Do I have any rank threes that I could do? I'm going to do that. We'll go... Yeah, let's do some swords. I'll do this. We'll go... We'll go here. 
We'll go there. Not really helpful, but not the end of the world necessarily. We'll do that. Yeah, I was going to say, if it turns into another bruiser, I'm just going to level him up. Let's also... So now we've got five bruisers. Rank four, rank five. That's too bad that these guys... I should, ah... Yeah, so I don't even know if any of our bruisers got leveled up there. We just had way too many swords, but this guy is now at a 10 stack, so that's super, super good. And as long as we can maintain, he made it, he's at 49 tiers. Okay, if anybody's curious how to play Demon Hunter, oh, he's got Headhunter, I forgot. If anyone's curious how to play Demon Hunter, do what this guy is doing, because it is clearly working. Another Ascended Sword, we can just spam these out. Um, honestly, I'm going to spam that out too. We're going to spam this out. We're going to get another bruiser. We're going to hit our J just to work back a little bit. He hit that white flag already. Yeah, I mean, he's probably right. I'm just going to do that. Try and build a little bit more. I'm going to go over here. Let's, uh, I don't know what else we can do. We're, it's kind of a moot point at this point. 10 seconds. King Pudding's coming in. I mean, King Pudding could be interesting. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit our J. Just work back. Just to get the boss as low level as possible. We've got 1,000 mana. Our board is full. That's exact. Oh, my gosh. This guy's a negative 10 stack. That's crazy. But this guy got hit. That's absolutely brutal. I don't know if he's going to be able to take out King Pudding. Might be close. Um, why don't we just level this guy up? He looks cool. He looks like a good dude. So he's going to get leveled up right there. He does have Trickster. He took that out. Uh-oh. Boom, boop, and boop. Hit him with a good game. That wasn't even that quick of a game, to be honest. Level 7. Dude was hanging in there. I don't even know where we're at. Yeah, he's, he's emoting at me. Good game, man. I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> I promised you one more game. Let's do one more game. See if we can find something... Just a little bit more on par to our account level and really see if Bruiser is as strong as he's making out to seem. Third game underway and let's see. Okay, so I'm thinking this is at least the closest to our account that we've had so far. I think I saw like 18, 2,000 crits, something like that. The reason that we're getting matched up like that, if you guys are curious, the reason why we're getting this matchup is because we also have a level 9 Bruiser. We have a level 9 Bruiser, so it's matching us up with a level 9 Bruiser. Even though that I have more crit than all these guys, card level wise, we're in a pretty similar boat. So that's why that's like that, okay? Let's do, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to do a whole bunch of swords here. We're just going to go, well, let's do that. We'll go there. I don't have any blue swords that are um, not ascended. There we go. So now we can do, I'll do this to start. I'll do that there. Give me a... Oh, I was really hoping... Okay, we can do this, though. I was really hoping that would turn into a bruiser. That would have been awesome. But we got another bruiser up here. So now we can start working on... Let's get one more bruiser somewhere. Try and get um, three on our board. And then we can start doing some stacks. I'm just going to use that. Um... Two blue ascended swords. Maybe this game we should try and focus more on bruisers and slightly less on um, on swords because that guy's already a five stack. We've got the two ascended swords. Oh, but he does have sword also. So maybe it's not even realistic to try and have us stay at 10 swords. Let's see what he's got over here. Yeah, pretty low level. Level, he doesn't have any talents on his... On his sword, but he does have talents on his on his demon hunter. He's using twi twilight hunting. You can always tell because of what the what the demon hunters look like. I don't know. I mean, demon hunter is way stronger than it used to be. This is probably a pretty even matchup, to be perfectly honest. Level nine versus level nine. The only thing I got on him is crit and equipment, but which it's a huge factor. Don't get me wrong; it's a massive, massive factor. Um. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to win. Uh, so, wow, he got hit by, uh, wow, he got hit by Bedlam. Not ideal for him. Love that this guy's already getting boosted. I'm trying to build up some mana. Just wait until my, my swords can get ascended a few times. And then we're going to go for some merge outs on Bruiser. So, I don't know. Let's go to like 2,000 mana. We haven't really done a whole lot. I can keep hitting my J if we need to. But since... Bruiser is kind of like Boreas. It goes in phases. Um, 
even if it looks a little bit bad, we can always come back. Let's let's wait until a minute. We'll go for a minute left, just so that sword has a couple more times to uh, to target. Yeah, like that guy. Double, double target. Boom. Okay, so let's just do this. I'm going to go here. I'll do that. I'm going to go there. I'm going to do that. We're going to go here. This guy is all of a sudden at a uh, three stack, so I guess we should start utilizing him. Let's do that. We'll go here. I'm going to do that. Okay, a couple of them got, got leveled up, so that's good. I'm going to do this as well. This guy just keeps getting hit every time, so might as well might as well level him up. We'll do that. High ranking bruiser is fine. We'll get level we'll level that guy up. And I think that's pretty solid. I don't know where we're at. Obviously, this guy's got one clover. This guy got a clover. I'm assuming that guy got a clover. He's been there the longest. I don't know. Let's do this. I'm just gonna merge out the mimes. Another bruiser is absolutely fine. We've got oh, this guy's already at a 10 stack as well. Crazy. Bedlam, let's take it out. He did actually take out his bedlam that time, so thank goodness for that. We've got rank fives, rank fours, high level swords. So this is kind of around the time where I like I said in the last game, we should start focusing way more on the bruisers rather than the swords. We should start combining those out because we've already got a 10 stack here. We must we must have a pretty good start on some of these other ones. This guy's four. This guy's probably five at least. The only reason he wouldn't be that high is because our opponent also has sword, but he doesn't have any ascended swords. So they wouldn't be coming down bothering us consistently. It would have to be a merge from him. That's the only difference. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find a bruiser. We'll merge all these guys out. There's a bruiser. We'll merge this guy. We're going to merge that guy also. Um, I guess we'll just do that. Some more bruisers. This guy's an 8 down here. I'm going to come down here. I feel like this guy's at a pretty high level. So I'm going to level him up. Oh, it hit my 10 stack here. Unfortunate. Uh, neither of these guys are boosted. So let's just do that. Oh, now he's back to a 10. What what a stroke of luck, fellas. What a stroke of luck. This guy's on a boosted tile. Why not level him up? These guys are uh, just got here. This guy just got here too. I have half a mind to, to merge him out when we get a chance. 251. He's actually, he's actually winning right now. But we're taking things out quick. So, okay. So this guy just got leveled up. I don't think we're taking him out anytime soon. We can keep focusing on merging out our swords. Try and get some higher level bruisers. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this as well. Kind of a strange play, but <clears throat> I don't hate it. I'm going to do that. Another bruiser right there. Let's get one more bruiser. We got two Harlequins. So we're going to be able to merge out a bunch of them if we find them. Yes, sir. So we're going to do that. We're going to go... Uh, let's do this. We could probably level up a good amount of stuff. Let's do this. We don't have all that much mana, but we've got a whole heck of a lot of bruises on our board, that's for sure. I'm going to do this. Why not? Keep merging them. Did I go overboard with the bruisers? Very well may have. Let's hit this now just to work back from Warlock before we get there. Got some swords. So we're all the way in the front of our portal, but we don't have Jay to help us. He's still winning. 441 versus 500, but we took that out very quickly. So did he, to be fair. He took that out really quickly as well. This guy's at an 8 stack right there. Maybe we can get him to a 10. That would be amazing. He's got Pretzel in there. You guys know how strong Pretzel is. So that's never something to uh, to take lightly. We're going to hit our J once we see the next boss, which should be around 40 seconds, I believe. We're going to merge this out. That's another rank 3. We totally could go and merge out rank 3s if we wanted to. But this guy's actually... I'm going to just do some J's, or some J's, some, uh, some Dryads. Um, let's do that. Weird play. Dryad on a Mime. Oh, let's go here, actually. Or Mime on a Dryad, rather. I'm going to go, this guy's at 8, so let's do that. Let's spam out some of our swords. Kitsune. We take out bosses pretty well because they get um, enraged when they see bosses. I'm going to go here first. 
I'm gonna go here as well. I'm gonna hit J. Take out that Bannerlord. A little bit late. I'm a little bit late. Four mil versus five mil, though. We won that wave. And I was a little bit late. We took that out quickly. We're gonna go right there. He's got Virus that he's gonna have to deal with. He did take it out, and the Virus actually hit the one unit on his board where it's not gonna spread. Let's see if he spams. That would be hilarious if he spams and let that uh, virus spread. But I think he's a little bit smarter than that. That's what my guess is. That's what my gut instinct is telling me. I no longer have a play. Oh, but Lion might open up the door. Do something, Lion. That is not what I had in mind. 39 seconds. I'll hit my, hit my J here just to help out a little bit. He actually hit my 10 stack here as well. He's getting... He's getting some pretty good strokes of luck, and we've made it into the second boss now. So 24 seconds, we've got Tamer and Grandmaster. Grandmaster could be super, super interesting. We're going to have to decide whether or not we want to use our J at the end of the wave to get the boss's health down, or against the boss, to, I'm going to hit it now, against the boss to try and take it out early. Four seconds. We're trying to take out Lion. Let's see if it hits anything that's worthwhile. Hits my rank five, which is super unfortunate. We've got a whole heck of a lot of things here. Tamer we took out quickly. Leveled some stuff out. Grandmaster did not get any merges. Huge. And that should be a GG. Hit him with a good game. Grandmaster is brutal against Demon Hunter, to say the least. Guys, if you stayed... Oh, he actually took out Tamer, so the game's not going to end. <laughs> he leveled him up! That's pretty funny. I thought the game was over. It's not over, fellas. He might take a hit. He might not take a hit. So he's got four max Demon Hunters. Oh, no. One of them's a six, actually. One, one of them's a six. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. His board looks better than it did after Grandmaster. Good for him. I hit him with a GG, and now I feel a little silly because it's not a GG. Four mil to go through. We got to go through this Bannerlord, and then we should be okay. But we got Bannerlord, Vortex. We're taking things out quicker than him, but that doesn't always mean that we're going to win because he's got Pretzel, so he's got Slow. Dude, let's get back to our J. Let's make this not as scary, and there is a GG. Hit him with a good game. Dude was battling all day long. Let's check what the stats are. Level 9 Demon Hunter versus Level 9 Bruiser. I would say we maintained some pretty good control all throughout. But again, not a super high level opponent. I'm interested to see how a Level 9 Bruiser does in the next levels. I wish that it showed somehow what the stacks were of Clovers. Because I don't even have any clue where I was at for some of my high level um, Bruisers. Maybe they were on Squares. Maybe they were 10 stacked from our sword, but I don't know where they're at in Clover. So, like, the the it's, it's really variable. Let me know if you guys have any idea how to track that. But if you enjoyed the longer videos, this is probably a half-hour video. I don't even know, but that's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll check you guys out tomorrow's video.